Stephen Xeon here, and welcome to the fourth episode of my Xeon FC series. If you missed last episode, you have to go back and watch it, because the last game of the last episode, let's just say a lot of records were smashed. Anyway, I've been productive between these episodes. What used to be a list of random squads, where I made a new one for every game, is now neatly organized when you can see that there is a squad for each of the big football nations in Europe. Now, of course, I don't have enough players from any of these countries to fill out an entire squad, but, you know, the groundwork is there. And my personal favorite of these squads, and the one we're going to use in the first game, is the English squad. Because if you look, oh, it's so pretty. Three and a half stars, that's perfect, because I want, you know, medium opposition. But 87 chemistry, that's the highest I can reach in anything. And, of course, our inform in his preferred position with okay links to the adjacent players. And, of course, Buffon. I managed to link Buffon to the inform. Well, indirectly. Still kind of cool. So let's take this squad for a spin, why don't we? Oh, no! Get out of here! Pack your shit and get out of here! Oh, no! Let's hope that we can pull off something insane here and actually beat this all-rare gold Spanish team. I got Buffon in goal, and man, does he have his work cut out for him now. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this game. I, I don't have any expectations. Oh, that's sexy. Disney. Disney fighting the lag. Oh, Tomlinson! What a, what a chance! What a shot! But he missed it! <sighs> Holy hell. I really wish that would have gone in. It would have eased my heart pressure. Greatly. Oh, come on! How do you make that mistake? Oh, no! How does he let that happen? How does he miss like that? Coleman. I wonder if it was Coleman that made that error in this pass. Really, Coleman? Maybe it was, if you have shit touches like that. Ugh, I don't even want to look at these stats. I want to get back into it. Oh no. Yeah, this is over. This is over. This game is over. I can't fight this team. It's so... It's too unbalanced. This team is so much better than mine. I want to blame that. I really want to blame that because I'm playing well. And now he just falls down and cries. Oh my god. This is incredible. It's hilariously bad. Is he injured? Honestly? What's happening? What's happening? Why are they doing this? My players. Why do they keep falling over? Why would you knock it over there? Oh, Jesus. I can't do this. I'm breaking into the emergency fund after this. I'm totally doing that. Unless I get one back, of course. Gotta make subs. San Severino to get the chemistry with Macaroni. Let's see if these guys can bring what it takes to get at least a goal back. This is humiliating how bad my midfield is. I thought uh, I thought my team was great, but now it really shows what a what a rare goal team will do to you if you Oh! Who's that? Mac macaroni? Is that macaroni making a difference instantly after being subbed on? How does he get it in from that angle? Needle. Threading the needle right there. No, no. And we're back to breaking into the emergency fund after this. <laughs> I have never conceded this many goals, and it is when I have one of the best goalkeepers in the game. Macaroni! Macaroni! Macaroni? Oh! Chimanga! Chimanga scores again! Chimanga keeps it up. He has as many goals as he has appearances. And he keeps that record going, even in a game like this. 
Okay, I'm out of using the emergency fund after this. I'll be all epic tackle, but it didn't count for anything. Yeah, we lost, but it could have been worse. It could have been worse. I felt like my substitutions made a difference. Coleman somehow getting a 9 out of this is pretty impressive. Though he did get an assist, so that probably counts for something. Two debuts, Buffon and Rupert. Rupert, or however you pronounce it. And uh, 7.3 and 6.7. It's uh, not great. I expect more in the future. Speaking of, let's jump right into it. Alright, since we got some goals back, we're not going to break into the emergency fund. We're going to save that for another day. And we're just going to jump right into the second game, and this is the team to do it. Buffon is back, so we're playing the Italy squad this time. Uh, I managed to force the inform in there with one link. And other than that, I've pretty much just taken out all the English players, because, yeah, Tomlinson is injured, and everybody here is on pretty low fitness, so they need a rest. Let's give these other guys a chance, including Sig Thorson, because that's how you pronounce it. Sig Thorson, who is trying to catch up to Chimanga. Let's see if he can, in terms of goals. Macaroni and San Severino are also in the lineup, as you can see, because they did pretty well coming on as subs in the last game. Let's hope they can do something pretty well here, too. Okay, German squad, pretty good links, rare golds. Boy, why are everybody so loaded in Division 9? Oh! Ah, oh, it's a goal kick. Glick? Glick? Can you do something? No, he's too slow. Glick? Glick? Can you set someone up? Ferre? Oh no! Ferre, apparently. Missed. Great run from Glick, the center back. What is he doing so far up? But I ain't complaining, that was pretty good. Oh yeah, I'm playing Glick as a center defensive mid. That's why he's so far up. Oh no! <sighs> Offside. Sig Thorson? Is that Sig Thorson with his fifth goal in two and a half matches? Oh my goodness. Glick. Glick is very involved this game. Speaking of, Glick is making a run. Glick! What's that? Glick? Oh my! <laughs> the Polish center back! The ball falls to him and he smashes it in. Nothing the keeper can do. Goes right off of him like he is nothing. Like he's not even there. This is... I would be shocked if Glick is not man of the match. And he is playing out of position. Glick. <laughs> Glick still playing even when the whistle's blown. He's loving it. Alright, half time. 2-0 up. Nothing to, be nothing to be said, nothing to be changed. Let's continue. Can he set someone up? Oh! Nasty! Macaroni! Macaroni! Third goal of the game. Goes to Macaroni. He scored two games in a row now. He saved us. Oh, he saved our dignity last game. And he might just solidify the win in this game. Alright, are we gonna make some subs as well? He paused the game, so I figure why not. I don't know, I think everyone's doing really well. Though I do want to bring in an actual cam onto the cam position. But other than that, I think I don't want to make a single change other than that. Alright, bringing on Masoud. Might be his debut, actually. Oh, Macaroni. Macaroni loses the last defender. It's all on him. It goes in! Oh no, it counts as an own goal, but we all know that that is all macaroni. That should not go down as an own goal. It really shouldn't. It's a shame. In my heart, I know that that is macaroni's third goal? Yeah, third goal. 
Glick. It's Macaroni again. It's Mac Macaroni is making beautiful runs. Macaroni. That should have been a volley. That should have been an epic scissor kick volley. Why wouldn't you? Masoud? Oh! Ah, he was offside. Not only is he offside, but he is giving the yellow card for the earlier challenge. Sig Thorsen? Oh, I thought it was Glick. Sig Thorsen. Sig Thorsen! Sig Thorsen with his second goal of the game. He is creeping ever closer to Chimanga. Chimanga did extend his lead last game, but it's nullified. And then some. Now. Oh, epic passing play. Oh, last defender manages to squash the attack. The game is over. 5-0. Not the uh, impressive 6-0, but... Nonetheless, this has been an insane game. Glick gets mad of the match. Yes, I was really hoping it would. He had an amazing game. He got himself a goal. He's a center back playing in midfield, and he gets himself a goal. Buffon kept a clean sheet, made five saves. I think he has restored his honor. Okay, so my English players have recovered slightly in their fitness. But you know what I think would be really exciting? Chimanga is on seven goals in total. Sig Thorsen has caught up immensely and is now on six, just one shy of Chimanga's standings. So for the final game of this episode, we're gonna clash them head on, both up top, next to each other. And we'll see, could, could Sig Thorsen score himself two goals and overtake Chimanga and become the top scorer of the club? Let's find out. Okay, what are we up against for the last game of this episode? Bronze team, with quite a mishmash of chemistry. Okay, last game of the episode. Chimanga and Sig Thorsen confront each other up front for the first time together in the series. Okay, this guy can play. That's offside, right? Does he have Rangel as well? Rangel assists against me. To be honest, looking at his bronze squad, I thought this was going to be a win. Buffon! Oh! No, Duché. Oh, that explains why he let it in. Okay, we're 2-0 down. This is bad. This is really bad. We're 2-0 down versus an all-bronze team. Well, almost all-bronze team. I would assume that this is some sort of FIFA veteran who's put himself under a challenge. Like, see how far you get with a starter squad or something. Because this guy is playing too good for his team. Him playing like this, he has no reason to be playing with a squad like that. This has to be a pro keeping himself under voluntary constraints. Like myself, pretty much. Ferre. Ferre! He does it! He gets one back! Halves the lead. Autre. We know Autre can run, so let's let him. Oh, 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 oh! Lag. Oh no! That was the most suspenseful lag I have ever witnessed. Oh, now he is hitting the post. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Get it out of there! You don't clear with your shoulder. Oh. Christ, what a game. I have five shots on target. He has one. And yet he is in the lead with two goals over one. Oh. He's going to shoot from there, isn't he? Nope, he's going to find the pass. <sighs> Duche. Oh, I'm playing as well as I can, honestly. And it's so intense. My hands are sweaty. Chimanga! 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 Chimanga with the equalizer and of course it is him! Disney runs up to hug him. 
Oh man, they've been here since the start, since the very first game. And they're still making the difference. That's Chimanga's way of saying, suck on that, Sig Thorsen. I score when it really matters. No, no, no! Oh my god, what a s block! Making changes. Because <laughs> I have to. <laughs> and uh, to save this lead, I'm actually going to sub off Glick for Abdenur. Right. I need to get my subs on the pitch, honestly. I don't care if I still have to commit a foul to do it. Get it off. Get it away. Oh, get it out of play, you idiot. Yeah, that's it. That, no? You're going to play advantage? That is the opposite of what I want. Fuck this. Now I get my subs on the pitch. And yes, it is indeed a yellow card for Disney. But he did it for a noble cause. We all know that. Buffon keeping us in the game. Wow. Oh, it's not Buffon. Why do I keep thinking it's Buffon? It's douche. It's douche who's keeping us in this game. No. Well, it has been coming. He's going to park the bus now, that is for sure. This has to be it. No. No. Ah, oh, nothing goes my way. Oh, Christ. Yeah, we lost this game. And Rangel. Rangel betrays us. <laughs> Becomes the man of the match for the other team. <laughs> oh, what a snake. And as for our team, Duchesne with six saves, which is impressive, but it's not enough. We lose this game. Shimanga with a goal, extending his league directly in front of the face of Sig Thorsen, his biggest competitor. Drama. Such drama here in the pitch on the pitch tonight. Oh, Trey, the assist king. He's got an assist this match as well. How did I miss that? All right, well, Jesus Christ. That puts us at 7,300 coins. Almost enough for a premium gold pack, which we might buy the next episode. Let's see what happens, and I'll see you then.